Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm gonna to show you a great tool which you should definitely have on your USB drive. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in a previous video, I showed you a great piece of software which you can use on a USB stick to boot up your computer and solve problems with booting and password recovery and all that kind of stuff. But now we're gonna start going into things which are useful tools which you should probably keep on a USB drive just in case you ever need them. Now these are gonna to be tools which you don't necessarily wanna install on your PC, but are nice to have available should your PC not work for some reason. Now today's one is gonna concentrate more on the kind of adware and spyware side of things. So if your PC is booting up, but is running a little bit slowly and your browser is perhaps not behaving the way it should be, then this is definitely a tool you should look into. And actually, as part of a challenge for this video, I challenge you to follow my steps and see what this program finds on your machine. Now you can leave the details of what it finds on your machine in the comments section below, and you never know, I may give a prize for those with the most infections. So anyway, let's get on with it. So the first thing you do, obviously you're gonna need a USB drive, a computer, and an internet connection. So open up your web browser of choice and type in bleeping computer. Now, Bleeping Computer, if you haven't been there already, is an absolutely amazing resource of all things to help keep your PC running, fix your PC, really helpful tools, tricks, and tips. So what we want to find on this particular instance is the Adware Cleaner, or ADW Cleaner. Now this is an amazing tool. I've been using it for years, and it's always worth keeping on a USB stick, like I said before, just in case. Or even if you're not entirely sure, if your PC is just seeming to behave a little odd, this is definitely worth trying. So their search option isn't particularly great, so I'm gonna to go to the downloads and go to most downloaded. Now these top four here are all fantastic products. Combo Fix I've used many times, R -Kick, Kill as well, Junkware Removal Tool, but for me, Adware Cleaner is the, uh, the cream of the crop. It's a very small executable file, I think it's about seven or eight megabytes in size, and you don't have to install anything, literally just run it from wherever it's stored. So let's download this now. Now, better put my USB stick in. And we've got the option of what we wanna do. So we wanna save Adware Cleaner EXE, and we'll do save as, because I'm gonna create a tool section on my USB drive, and keep all those handy applications in there. Oh, the irony is running a security scan. Okay, so it's finished downloading, so you can choose now to either cancel it or run it. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna run it. And this is actually a pretty clean system now, so let's see what it actually finds. So as with most programs that will clean your system or have access to your system, you do have to give it um, authorization to get into your system via the user account control. So there we go, Malware bar Bytes Adware Cleaner. And you have to agree to the terms and conditions, so let's go ahead and agree that. And as you can see, last scan never, number of scans zero, number of detections zero. So there's various options you've got here as well. You've got the dashboard, the quarantine files, log files, so once it's actually done a scan, you can check through the logs and see what it has. Settings, all sorts of things about the databases. You can exclude files, so if you've got a specific file on your system which you know to be good, but it triggers false positives, then you can add that to your exclusion list. And obviously there's a help section as well, so you can get more help should you have any problems. So let's go back to the dashboard and we'll hit scan now. Now this doesn't take very long, so should be over very, very quickly. And being there's not a lot on this hard drive, it should be over really quickly. So there we go, that took seven seconds. So that's seven seconds of my life that I'm never gonna get back, but hopefully it's been worthwhile. And no threats were detected on your system, which is great. So if, for instance, it didn't find anything, but you're still having problems with your, maybe your internet, or you're getting browser redirections, that kind of thing, just because it hasn't found anything doesn't mean there isn't a problem with your network. So this is why they've actually added a basic repair. Now the basic repair will reset what is known as the WinSock. 
Now this is a, a kind of a network protocol which kind of directs the way traffic works on your computer. It's really complicated, or at least in my mind it is. I don't need to understand it, all I need to know is this can possibly fix it. So I'm gonna run the basic repair anyway. And it gives you the information that all the processes were closed and obviously if you've got anything open, you should close it because it's gonna restart your computer. So let's do clean and restart now. Now in this particular instance, I'm gonna to have to choose my boot device because I've got my drive in there which actually has got a live operating system on there. So we'll go for the Samsung SSD. And there we go, it's rebooted. Now if your system did have adware on it and it detected it, at this point it would say that your cleanup is complete and it'll tell you that the threats have been removed. If for any reason threats detected were higher than threats removed, you can check out the log file and see what it is. Alternatively, another good way of doing it, some threats will actually be locked into the operating system. So if you boot your machine into safe mode, which you can find out how to do over here, then you can run adware cleaner in safe mode and it will give a little bit more access to the program. So anyway, hopefully this has been helpful to you. And like I said, a challenge to you out there, run this program on your system. Even if you think you're secure and you've got your antivirus and you've got your protections on your system, just give it a run and see what it comes up with. I think you'll be surprised. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's unboxing reviews and how to. This has been Malwarebytes Adware Cleaner, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.